the blue and gold Makko, or Ara Araruna. This video seeks to bring awareness and increase knowledge about the blue and gold Makko to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. The blue and gold Makko is one of the most majestic species of birds that exist within Trinidad and Tobago. In this country, its value is mostly economic, and as a result, there is a high demand for it in the local pet trade and for its colorful feathers. This video, acquired from archive.org, shows some accords in their natural habitat. These beautiful birds can grow to between 81 to 91.5 centimeters long and can weigh between 0.9 to 1.8 kilograms. Their wingspans are about 104 centimeters to 114 centimeters. The blue and gold macaws are vibrantly colored. Their wings and back are blue with a golden yellow breast and underwing. They also have green cork feathers and wingtips. Their beaks, throat and legs are all black whilst their eyes are yellow and facial skin is white. Both male and female birds of this species are alike in physical appearance. Blue and gold macaws can live up to 50 years both in the wild and in captivity. However, they are only capable of breeding for 30 to 35 years. Sexual maturity is often attained at the age of 3 to 4 years, at which point the macaws form monogamous pairs and mate for life. The macaws breed every 1 to 2 years, usually between the months of January to July. Two to three eggs are laid per season. Eggs are incubated for a period between 24 to 28 days, after which the young chick hatches. At birth, the chicks are usually blind and featherless. After about 10 days, the birds begin to develop feathers, and after three months, the fledglings become independent. In the wild, Population densities of large macaws are estimated at approximately 5 to 10 birds per square mile of forest. It is estimated that populations can increase at a rate of 15 to 10 annually. The blue and gold macaws can be found throughout tropical and subtropical forests, woodlands, and savannas in South America from Venezuela to Brazil, Bolivia, Colombia, and Paraguay. These birds can also be found in Panama and as far north as Mexico. This species was once natural inhabitant of Trinidad. However, in the late 1960s to the 1970s, the removal of the species from its natural habitat for the pet trade and use of the feathers as valuable materials led to its extinction from our country. During the period from 1999 to 2004, efforts were made by conservationists to reintroduce the blue and gold macaw into its natural habitat in the Nerva Swamp. The Nerva Swamp is the largest wetland and freshwater swamp in Trinidad and Tobago. Located on the east coast of Trinidad, the swamp is approximately 11,343 hectares and is a diverse ecosystem which comprises estuarine and basin mangroves amongst many others. This highly diverse ecosystem has a total of 319 plant species and provides a habitat for 614 species of fauna including the globally threatened West Indian manatee and the locally endangered blue and gold macaw. In this wetland, the macaws nest high on the Mauritius and Palmy's farm trees to avoid predation. 
Even though the Narrow Swamp is designated as a Ramsar site, the habitat and these beautiful birds are still under threat as a result of habitat destruction and exploitation for the local pet tree. The Palmis Farm, or Roystonia alericea, is harvested for the merry stems which is used in local cuisine. The trees are also destroyed for poaching of the blue and gold macaw pet. For the young ones for the pet tree and the adults poached for their feathers. Even though Ara Araruna is considered to be of the least concern by the IUCN, due to its geographic range, the population in Trinidad and Tobago was extinct until 1999. Conservation efforts have been made to reintroduce the blue and gold macaw into the Nerva Swamp. In 1999, 18 birds, nine pairs were transferred from Guyana to Trinidad and placed in pre-release flight cages. 14 birds were released in a series of three releases from December to March in 2000. These released birds were monitored by personnel from the Cincinnati Zoo and the Trinidad and Tobago Forestry Division. From this release, nine birds survived and 12 produced chicks over three mating seasons. A second release was also conducted and 12 macaws acclimated into the pre-existing groups and produced 14 chicks over three mating seasons. It is hoped that these conservation efforts are successful in the reintroduction and stabilization of the population of blue and gold macaws within Trinidad and Tobago, with implementation of legislation such as the Forest Act of 1993, the designation of the Nerva Swamp as a Ramsar site and the declaration of the area as an environmentally sensitive area in 2006. That these birds can have the sanctuary required and we as humans can move away from putting an economic value on them and appreciate the blue and gold macaws for their intrinsic value. Thank you very much.